What's up guys, Peter Buckeye back tonight on Super Bowl Sunday to talk about two different scents. Well, they're the same scent, but they're from different companies, but they really are two different scents. And we're doing an Oud versus Oud video tonight from probably the best Oud scent on the market from Kingsman Beard Club. Everybody knows how amazing this is, so I don't have to talk this one up too much. But then... And now forgive me, I only have a sample of this because I'm not going to pay what I, they want for it. But I have the black, was it the black label? Yeah. The black label from Stag Beard Company. This is what I got, a little vial of it. Now, I'm going to read you what this card says from Stag. It says, Stag Black Label Beard Oil is crafted from the finest all-natural ingredients and in carrier oils, including argan, coconut, tamanu, uh don't know what that word is, and Ar Ar Argawood Oud. One of the rarest, most exquisite oils in the world. Argawood is Argawood oil is produced from the heartwood of Aquilaria and has abundant skin therapeutic benefits. Now, here's my thing. So, the best, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinion, Oud oil and scent on the market is going to be from Kingsman. Right now on his website, this normally goes for $39.99. It is on sale for $24.99. And if you do the subscribe and save feature on his website, you save an extra 30%, so you get it for $17.49. I know Frank uh, pays around $1,000 or more an ounce for the Oud oil, from what I've heard from multiple people, and still sells it for $40 or less. The Stag Beard Company sells their black label oil, and that's just an oil, there's no balm. A one ounce food oil or black label for $140. When I talked to him about it, it was, well, we spent a thousand dollars an ounce on this oud oil. Great. However, if I'm paying $140 for a scent or a bottle of oil, it better be better than this. And it's not. $40 maximum. $140 for a one ounce bottle. I'll have the ingredients list for Kingsman right here and for Stag right here for these two products. And I'm using the Kingsman balm because I'm out of the oil, but I will put the ingredients for the oil so you guys can compare. But there's no reason that somebody should go out and spend $140 on a premium high-end oil when another company is using a similar oil, spending just as much money to produce it and selling it for you know a quarter of the price. And everybody knows how great Holy Grail is. And I'm not saying Stag Beer Company's not great. It was one of the first reviews I did from a company. They're a great company. Really nice people. Really good people. But there's just... I don't understand the justification of a $140 bottle of oil. And I know a lot of... I've talked to a lot of people about this before I did this video. And everybody has the same reaction. There's just no way. There's no way. Not when the number one on the market in Oud scent sells it for a quarter of the price. And everybody knows that Frank puts in an extreme amount of care, and as I'm sure Stag does, into his products and spends just as much money, if not more, on his Oud scents. So I don't understand the asking price of $140. And if somebody out there buys this oil, please tell me your opinion. Because this is all I got. I've smelled it. It does smell good, but it doesn't hold a candle to Holy Grail. And I know some people don't like Holy Grail, and that's fine. But to me and a lot of other people, Holy Grail is the Holy Grail of Oud Sense. 
So just some things to think about, because I know some people have been talking about the black label from Stag. And I'm glad that they have released this premium line for themselves, and I hope they do well with it. But I can't see the justification to spend $140. And if I spent $140 on oil, you guys would never see me again because my wife would bury me in the yard. So, <laughs> yep, so she's my audience and she agrees. So that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to talk about these two because the the best oud oil on the market and scent is is Kingsman and the cost that he puts into this I know is just as high if not higher and he sells it for a quarter of the price I will put links to everything below everybody let me know what you think because this is just my opinion and I have to, and I talked to some other people before I ever did this video and I was just tossing it around today and figured I'd do it so that's all I got. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I got some more stuff coming from Untamed Beards. Him and I are going to do an interview at some point. Our schedules just haven't aligned yet to be able to do it, but it is, I'm hopefully it's coming this week before Wednesday. So we'll work that out. Um, I do have a lot of other reviews coming for Machine Beard Company. And I got, if you guys seen the Beard Mill on Instagram, I have a ton of stuff to go over. Um, today I'm wearing the Bedlow and Blackwell. And I can't wait to tell you about that one. So that's all I got today, guys. Hope everybody has a good rest of your Sunday, a good Super Bowl Sunday, and go Rams, because I hate Tom Brady.